Hello, my friends. It's Bonnie from Bonnie's Fluid Creations. I'm off camera because I am a shy person. Uh, actually, I'm just not camera ready, seriously. Um, today, I am going to be pouring on a 12 by 24 inch canvas. It's just a um, Michael's value pack canvas. I tape the back. I put push pins in it. I make sure that it is level so that my paint will be poured level. All the stuff that I've been told I needed to do. You probably notice some lines on here because what I'm going to try to do is do kind of a crazy Dutch pour. I've tried this a few times over the past couple months. Um, because I'm not very good at a Dutch pour, I just started getting wacky with it and called it crazy. And I think we've got a couple of these amazing YouTube artists who are doing what they've called a chaotic Dutch pour. About the same thing. So I'm going to be pouring on both ends, on a diagonal, some colors, which I have a lot of, by the way, um, and just blow them out kind of haphazardly. I'm going to put a base down in the middle and do a traditional type Dutch pour up through the center. We're going to see how that turns out. I don't know. I've not tried this before. I have done an angle uh, and then poured with the Dutch up top, but we'll see how this works out. I'm just trying something different. So the colors I'm going to be using, and like I said, I've got a lot. I'm, I have a Grumbacher Thalo Blue. I need to do a drip test to make sure these are all the same. This is a Windsor Newton Windsor Blue. All the paint should be pretty fluid for this. This is one of my favorites. If you've seen any of my other videos, oops, I just knocked that darn thing. This is a Holbein Luminous Violet. And it just, when you add it to the different colors in your painting, it just pops. It's just beautiful. Then I have a Liquitex brand, Dioxazine Purple. Um, I've had this laying around, wasn't mixed up, but I've had it laying around. And I haven't used it, um, but I ran out of my other Dioxazine Purple. I was using Soho Urban Artist brand, and I ran out. So, oh, we also have a Holbein Phalo Turquoise I'll be using got um, more than several dark colors here so um, I'm going to be putting in a couple bright colors um, which is Amsterdam this is what I made up I make a lot of them up this is an Amsterdam titanium white with some Amsterdam phthalo green phthalo I don't know how you say that phthalo green in with it um, so it's just a little touch of the phthalo green to make it this really pretty pale um, light greenish color. I don't even know what you call it. But I do need to brighten up the, the painting a little bit. And then also I've done a little mix here of the uh, a turquoise blue with some Amsterdam titanium white. Um, yeah, so we'll throw that in there too. And then over top the colors I will be drizzling some Amsterdam titanium white. My color I'm laying down in the center is going to be pretty pretty crazy too. Just go right along with the name of this whole thing. And I'm putting down, it's a Windsor Newton cobalt blue, but I've added some Amsterdam titanium white to brighten it up. So that's going to go in the middle. We'll see how all these paints work together. <laughs> uh, they might be crazy. You know what? I think I'm also going to add some uh, gold. This is this is also a mix, I think. It's Golden's um, Bright Gold mixed with, I think, some Amsterdam Deep Gold. Yeah, I'm pretty positive. So there's just a tiny bit left, and I'm just going to drizzle it over the colors, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so let me, I'm going to do a drip test on these colors to make sure that they're all um, running the same, they're all the same consistency, and we'll be right back. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Let's see what we're gonna start off with. Um, this um, 
dioxazine purple. It just seems to dry very dark. I think I'm going to lay that down first. And I'm just going to be laying it kind of crazy like. No particular order to this. I think I want to give myself a little line there. And like I said, no rhyme or reason to this. It's just a craziness. Just a simple craziness to it all. Um, next, how about the, yeah, let's put down the Holbein Phalo Turquoise. I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll see. And then we have, um, this would be the Grumbacher Thalo, Thalo Blue. Now you notice down here in the bottom, or up here at the top in the corners, this color I'm laying down is not over a, um, a base coat. It helps to keep the colors, at least I've found, more vibrant. When you pour it over a base coat, it seems to um, oh, soften the colors, mute the colors, however you want to, however you want to say that. Now let's go to the Windsor Blue. This really is a lot of paint I'm putting down though. <laughs> Quite a bit. pretty pretty turquoisey light bluish turquoise color <laughs> I don't even know what to call it Next up, our Holbein Luminous Violet. Oh yeah, I love this color. titanium white over that.
got so many dark colors in there. We need a little bit of lightener. some of this base and put it over the edge. a lot of paint on those corners there let's see how this works out hope I don't blow paint all over the place could happen done it oh and before that I didn't put any gold in there did I let's drizzle some of this in there hopefully it won't sink that happens to me a lot with my golds some noise now you might want to put your let's get this out of the way get your volume down on your phone a little bit did I put this in there yeah. yes I did I'm second guess myself all the time on this stuff okay here comes the noise and I'm using my generic travel blow dryer that I got off Amazon it's um j-i-n-i-r-i -I -I is the brand name I've got it covered up with this tape I don't like that falling in my paint, which I've touched quite often with that. It's got a nice narrow condenser on it. Okay, here we go. On low. No rhyme or reason to the direction I'm doing this. And I'm going straight down into the paint. Okay, well, we've got that kind of blown out now. I'm going to put a base coat down through the center. Try to remember on the angle I want to go at when I blow this back out. Yeah. 
trying to give myself a little guide there. I'm going to have to put some more paint down. Okay. faults also is I sometimes put too much paint down. Let's see if this is going to be enough. Let's blow this around. More noise coming up guys. I think I'll need some more on there. coat on there. a bit more paint to blow out here. I'm a little sloppy painter, aren't I? Yes, I am. Do I want any of that? Oh, maybe a dab. You see how vibrant those colors are at the bottom and top down there on the die on the corners? I just blew out. Really pretty. Ooh, we need some luminous violet. <laughs> and I don't know how this is going to go. <clears throat> like I said, I am not the best on these Dutch pours. Blowing them out. <clears throat> I've saved some base so I can touch up my sides, although probably um, just the drippings off of the canvas will work just great for touching up the edges of the canvas. 
Okay, here comes some noise. I'm nervous. Wish me luck. See how this goes. I think we were going this way and this way, I think. I don't know. Doesn't look like it now, though. Let's give it a shot. Oops, don't do that. It's kind of crazy. Moon is violet. Woohoo! Well, it's not exactly matchy matchy, is it? <laughs> it's Penella tries to get all the time as her matchy matchy. Well, I'm going to stop right there, and then we can, we can play around with it. I just don't like this right here at all. I just don't like that little doohickey there. I wonder how I can save that. don't know. I'm afraid to mess with it. Maybe I'll blow it out by my mouth. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know. Let me see. Too much. It's not getting those beautiful cells or anything. Try to erase it. Sometimes that helps. Hey, look it over. Stand back and take a look at it. <laughs> okay, well, um, I need to probably pop some bubbles now. I really didn't have too many bubbles in it a while ago. I wasn't too worried about it, but... Let's make sure. Also encourages some cells and stuff to come out too. If there's going to be any. I just see a goober in one of those. There it is. Okay. Let's take a look and see if that is. Sometimes that happens when dried paint gets in. Let's see, is it? Yeah, it's a little beady one. You get your trusty dandy, handy dandy little tweezers out, fish it out. Oh, look at that. Yeah. 
nasty little goober. Okay, so um, I'm liking the colors. I love how vibrant it is, yet we've got those dark colors in there too. It's not matchy-matchy, but then it's a crazy Dutch, so it shouldn't. Um, I think I'll work with a little bit here and there. Again, I'm still not happy with what's going on over here. I might try blowing it a little bit. We'll see. Um, let's put you on pause and come back as soon as I touch up my sides, and we'll see what it's done. Okay? Okay, it's probably been... Oh, I don't know, maybe about a half hour or so. And I've touched up the sides. I've cleaned my drips. I've done that a couple times and I'll continue to do that a couple more times. Um, I'll bring you down for a close up, turn off that ring light because that is creating a silly glare on here. I'm really loving the colors that I've used, and I like that I used that light blue kind of periwinkle base in the center. I'm glad I did that instead of just white. It really pops these colors. Um, there's a couple spots I'm not particularly pleased with, but um, it is what it is. Um, I might try to work with it a little bit, see if I can fix them. I don't know. But how about if I bring you down and we'll get a closer look. Okay, um, let's see what we got down here. We really do have some really pretty cells and lacing that's developed. That luminous violet really glows. And I didn't put too much gold in. I think the bits that I did is some of it did sink a little bit. Look at this from that titanium white, little river of white. Come on, focus. Thank you. And we have some pretty lacing and cells up here. here. This is part that I, I just, I'm not liking. I'm not liking that at all. I don't know how I can fix that. I might be able to put my finger in there and just erase it a little bit. Another part that I'm fearful about right now is this right here between these two petals. I don't want them to fall into each other. Oh my goodness, no. That would really ruin this piece, I think. Um, not exactly happy with how these all blended around. Okay, let's come up here to the other part. Again, that luminous violet just glows, doesn't it? Come down here for a little bit more of a close-up in that area. Beautiful lacing and cells. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. At least I think so. Coming over here. There's some more. Yeah, so this is what we've got. I'm, I'm, um, right now I'm happy with it. You know, the, the lighting in here is just wrong. Um, because it's not really showing the turquoise that's coming through on this painting. It's really not. Um, you're seeing it much darker than what I'm seeing it looks like from what I can see through this camera. But there's so much turquoise in here. You know, I might try putting that, um, that light back on it. Um, perhaps maybe, I don't know, let's see. Even with my camera light on, it's just not showing these gorgeous colors with the turquoise and the some shimmer coming through too. 
so yeah so we'll let it um we'll let it go a little ways and um develop a little more and oh please 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 i'm gonna try to work with that and separate these two a little more i do not want those to run together so yeah so this is my crazy dutch um pointer crazy dutch i guess you could call it <laughs> I appreciate you all joining me. Um, if you feel like it, go ahead and click the sub subscribe button. That'd be great. I'm just getting started, so um, all this is new to me. I've been paint pouring about mm, eight, nine months maybe, um, but I really haven't been uploading anything to my channel until very recently. So thanks for joining me, and you all take care. Hello my friends, we are back. Now this hasn't totally dried yet, but it's um, it's not gonna change any more than it is right now. Um, let me bring it down a little bit. You can see we do have, the majority of it is dry. I'm still not gonna touch it. I've made that mistake before. It's turned out really nicely. Um, I'm happy with it and I'm also happy these two petals did not converge on each other. I'm so happy. Um, the colors turned out fun. I love that I used that um, kind of a periwinkle blue as a base in between. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'll probably resin this. Um, I love these colors the luminous violet has done bring it down over this way and you can see the 3d effect that it creates oh, I love it so yeah I'm happy with it and I'm also happy that you joined me for this video hopefully I don't know you know I'm kind of new to uh, creating videos and posting them on this channel um, and I'm not very good at it yet but help me out Hit the subscribe subscribe button and um, hopefully I will see you back for another video thanks so much for joining me and take care